Dear Tanner, remember me? The old lady? How's this for a blast from the past? I've thought about writing this letter a million times. I tire easily now, so let me cut to the chase. My days are numbered, Tanner. Such an odd phrase, that. Our days are always numbered, but near the end, we really know it, and each day becomes so precious. A long time ago, I made a decision. At the time, it seemed so right. But now, as the days literally trickle down to a precious few, it seems so wrong. And I'm sorry beyond describing that I made it. We have a daughter, Tanner. A glorious young woman. Her name is Sid. Remember all those years ago when you were ready to come home from Boulder and I asked you not to? I asked you not to come because I already held our beautiful baby girl in my arms. I thought, if you came back, you would fall instantly in love with her and never leave her side or mine again. That you would be the best father and most devoted husband you could possibly be. And that a part of you would be forever miserable. The part that never got to do all those exciting things you dreamed of doing. And that you would blame me for that. I felt so noble and self-sacrificing, so Betty Davis, and now Voyager, when I gave you your walking papers. <sighs> how young I was, how foolish, how wrong. And how much I regret it now. You've had a great life, Sid and I. I don't regret that. But I regret I didn't give you a chance to be a part of it. Oh, we would have had a ton of fun, the three of us. I know once you get to know each other, you'll make up for lost time like gangbusters. Sid doesn't know about you, because I never told her. So if I can find the courage, I'll be hitting her with a similar bombshell soon. Also, there's some business we need to take care of. Remember when we were married, how Mom and Pop signed over the dance studio to us? Well, guess what? <laughs>